You ever heard the phrase, what goes up must come down? Well, in real estate, it's not always that straightforward. So I was recently having a chat with a client who thought, hey Graham, interest rates are gonna go up, so that means there's gonna be less people able to afford stuff, which means lower demand and lower prices, right? Well, that's kind of true, but the only thing a lot of people seem to forget about is supply. So let's just say, for example, here we have demand. As you can see, demand decreases when interest rates go up. That is true because less buyers could afford the home. And here's supply. As you can see, we've actually had a massive decrease in supply, so much so that it's actually been some of the lowest months ever on record for the amount of homes on the market. Inventory is still way lower than pre-pandemic levels. Even if interest rates go up a little bit more, which will cause less buyers to be able to purchase, inventory is still gonna stay really tight. In general, you're not gonna see like a massive tank in prices or anything like that, but you might see less competition. Some markets are seeing like eight offers on really desirable properties. Some of those offers are getting four, which is like 50% less than what they were getting before. Some markets maybe only right now are getting one, two, or three offers. You cut that in half, maybe they're only just getting the one offer. Those might stay on the market. You might even see a small decrease in price at some point. So long story short, right now, even with the spike in interest rates, even if they go up a little bit more, the demand is still outpacing supply. If you have questions with what's going on with supply, demand, inventory in your micro market, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a video for you.